Hi, this is Joy with Obsessed with Scrapbooking, and today we're making this fun graphic, oh happy day card, <laughs> using the new Close to My Heart Artfully Scent Cricut cartridge. And here are the cuts I used. Um, I used this background card, the oh happy day. There's a background to all those kind of four by six cards, and that is on the last page or the last key, key 50. And then here is the envelope sizing, which I'll also talk about in the video. And finally, those are the pieces I used on the front of my envelope. All right, let's get started. Today we're going to make this <coughs> Oh Happy Day <laughs> card. And now you see this picture of my beautiful cat, Snowbell. And you see this because I have a new video camera and apparently turned off the section where I stuck down the front of the card. Ugh. Okay, so all I did is use Bonding Memories glue pen and the Scotch ATG to stick down the front of the card, some pop dots on the back of the Oh Happy Day, and a glue dot to stick the bow on. So no big deal. Moving on. Okay, and then finally I've got some of these cute enamel stars. I think I'm going to go ahead and put those, if I can get the package open, I'm going to put those in the two bottom corners. Or maybe even a row of them would look cute. I'm so excited because I just got a new video camera, which hopefully is going to be a lot sharper for you all. Okay, come on. Really? All right, one last one. So, very excited about that. I'm going to have trouble with my other one. Oh, come on. Come on. There you go. This is a quick peek at the stamp set I use in a minute. Take a look. All right, not too bad. Woo, okay. All right. Yay! Okay, and now we're just gonna do the inside. Now, just true confession time, this kind of style does not match this kind of style. So, I probably would cover this over, because you can see it's sort of, it's kind of Claude Monet-ish, and this is kind of graphic, you know? So, um, I would probably cover this over with white. But I thought about doing that, and I thought you guys were going to go, what? You don't need to do that. Relax. Chill out. So <laughs> let me know if you thought I should or not. <laughs> All right. I have got this cool, your own kind of wonderful stamp set. And I'm just going to put Life is Beautiful on the bottom here. And um, something we learned in the last video is let's just go ahead and push that down. Like, let it just kind of fall on the desk. Because when I tried to push it down, oops, that's too short. When I tried to push it down myself, um, then I had problems. So I suggest you don't. You just let it fall. Let the chips fall where they may. Okay, so let's pick this thing up now. Then hopefully it's gone straight. Okay. And we're just going to condition it. Okay. True confession, you guys. I'm wearing pajamas. Okay, but... <laughs> See, because you can craft any time. Um, I got these kitty cat pajamas, and I thought they were so cute. And um, I didn't realize you were going to be able to see them on the video until I just started looking up. And I was like, oh, okay. Well, anyway, keeping it very real here. Okay, and I'm just going to go ahead and... Now, this is brave. Oh, shoot. I was going to say, this is brave for me because usually I am not a fan of stamping on something. Okay, last but not least, I thought I would show you how to make an envelope to go with this card. All right, now, one thing to know that's very important is <clears throat> in the booklet, it will tell you what size to cut the envelope when you're using the normal expression or the E2. So for instance, this envelope that I've cut, why did I cut this plain one? Oh well, I guess that's why <laughs> I thought I was cutting one that you need ain't jaggedy, but I didn't. All right, so there you go. Don't know why I did that. Oh, I did do jet. Oops. I did do scalloped. I just wasn't looking at the right top part. Okay, so the deal is you cut it according to, let's find it here. That's this one. And this is page 43. Oh, that's not it. I lied. Okay, hang on. This is page 49. Okay, 49. And you would cut this, it tells you, at 5 inches. Okay? That works perfectly. Done it on the expression. Life is good. Yay! Okay. All the 5x7 um, envelopes on Artfully Scent should be sized on the Explore only. Just the Explore only at 11 and a half. Okay? If you have the expression or you have the E2, expression 2, you need to just follow the book. But on the Explore, you would want to do 11 and a half. Okay? Now, so I've cut this envelope out, and um, I did cut it on the Explorer, 
and theoretically there are little score lines that I can't hardly see. So we're going to go ahead and score it a little bit more properly. And let's get that handled here. I mean, kind of the cool thing on envelopes is that you can really kind of see, you know, where it's supposed to go. It's not not terribly rocket scientist, you know, not a lot of rocket science going on here because you just do it on these edges, right? So not too hard. Now I have used double-sided paper here. So I'm not gonna make a liner because I kind of already have the liner, right? But they have a liner for this and you would just keep those measurements the same and then your liner cuts out perfectly. So just as the book says, just do what the book says if you have the Expression or the E2. And if you have the Explore, just cut at 11 and a half. Okay, so here's, oh, look how awesome that turned out, guys. I couldn't have planned that better. Look, it just matches up perfectly. Woo-wee, Chica, that's awesome, right? Oh gosh, I couldn't have done that if I tried. Okay, I'm very excited. And look, on this side, it's perfect too. It's, you know, the top and the, oh wow. Life's going really good, right? So, all right, let's sticky this down with the Scotch ATG. The best thing to do when you're sticking an envelope is do it on this bottom edge, not on the flaps, because what happens is the bottom edge doesn't always touch all the flap on this side, you know, so that's what you wanna do. So now I've got my envelope. Now I thought I'd make some fun decorations on the front for my address situation. And so what I have done, I've got these great stamps that came with the Artfully Scent. And so I just took a number of cutouts here. I just took the same cutout. It tells me on the stamp set, because I am going to stamp. It tells me to cut this at two inches. That would be real dial size. And so the white's two inches. This is two and a quarter. The pink's two and a quarter. And the black is, that would then be two and a half. Okay, and then I'm going to layer them, and, and that's going to be your address or, you know, you know, you put that person's name there. So let's go ahead and stamp this. I always, <laughs> as I said earlier, I really prefer to stamp before I sticky because then if I mess up, I'm okay. So I hate to make it sound like I mess up all the time, but um, it's really easy to mess up. And <laughs> so uh, I really try not to uh, give myself more chances to mess up. Okay, this is new. So I'm just gonna, I think it's new, so I'm just gonna do that. And I think I'm gonna do this, do I wanna do pink or do, I think I'm gonna do black actually. I don't know, not super fancy, but I think it'll be good. So I'm gonna do black. <clears throat> and all I'm gonna do is ink her up, take a look, and let me move this in. And then I am going to, like, it's nice there's a lot of room on this. when it works out. Okay, so good. <laughs> See, nothing to worry about, right? And then I'm just gonna sticky these together. Let me let that dry a little bit. So it doesn't take long. So I'm just gonna use my Scotch ATG to layer this up. Okay, and then I have this piece. And then you could put your name of the person you're giving this to in here. Ooh, okay, come on. Okay, let's make sure you guys can still see this. All righty. All right. Oh, no, that looks awful. Hang on. <laughs> ah! <laughs> okay, that looks somewhat better. <laughs> All right, so I make sure the flap's where I need it to be so I don't sticky it on. Well, I guess there is no upside down when it's symmetrical. He Anyway, <laughs> that's foolproof, right? <clears throat> and I'm just going to go ahead and get this stuck down. And it looks about in the center. Okay, and it looks crooked. It would help if I held it correctly, wouldn't it? It really would help if I held it somewhat, you know, flush. Ah, good enough. Okay, so here is our card. Oh, happy day. And our life is beautiful. And then here's our envelope. And that is it. And then I'm just gonna, my card slides nicely into my envelope. Okay, nicely. Yes, it does. <laughs> I'm good to go. All right, have a great day, you guys. 
Okay, here is the Artfully Scent Cricut Cartridge Bundle. It not only comes with the cartridge and full-size handbooks, it also comes with three full-size stamp sets valued at $60. So that font set you just saw, these um, nice shapes, and also a full stamp set sheet set of <laughs> sentiments. So you can t get that at my Close to My Heart site called joytracy.ctmh.com. Thanks.